Welcome to Unreal Engine Basics. We are going to take a look at the timeline and set new time functionality. We will look at how we can start at a particular point on a timeline. This is especially helpful when loading from a saved game where we want to start where we left the game. In the example, we will create a timeline that runs for one second with the float value output between 0 and 1. However, we want to start the timeline at 0.75 on the timeline. Let's now create this in Unreal Engine. I have created a simple actor to test our code. Open or create your actor and delete everything other than begin play. Now create the timeline by right clicking and type timeline then select add timeline. Now rename your timeline. Double click on the timeline to set it up. First click on the plus track and select float track. Now rename the track as you require. Move over the timeline and right click. This will show a sub menu where you can add a key. Move to the end of the timeline and add another key. Now change the length of the timeline to 1. Click on your first key and set the time and value both to 0. Now select the second key and set time and value to 1. Now go back to the event graph to continue. Create a float variable to store our start value. Drag in the timeline component and drag off that and select new time then connect the execution pin to the timeline play. Get the float variable you created and connect that to the new time node of the set new time. Create a custom event so we can fire our timeline. Add a print string node so we can see the values output from the timeline. Connect the update to the print string and output to the end string. Next, go to our begin play and add a set timer by function name node. Connect this to begin play and set it up as follows. Set the time to 2. Loop should be selected. Now copy your custom event name into the function name 
of the set timer by function name node. Make sure these match exactly or the custom event won't fire. Compile and save the blueprint, then close and minimize it. Drag your actor into the scene and run. You will see the output from the timeline being printed out. At the moment, the numbers printed out are from 0 to 1. This is because we need to set our float variable in the blueprint. Open up your blueprint again and set the float default value to 0 0.75. Compile and save the blueprint, then close or minimize it. Now, run again and you will now see that our values begin at 0.75.